The Philadelphia Antiques Show opened for its 50th year in the Navy Yard on Friday. The show featured traditional pieces ranging from figurines and paintings to federal furniture and mirrors. The Philadelphia Antique Show has been in, in existence for 50 years and it is our mission to raise money for Penn Medicine. This year the cause is ovarian cancer research. We're hoping to raise a million dollars and uh, we're well on our way to doing that. We are a committee of all volunteers. We're all women. Nobody gets paid on the show. We have um, something this year new that's called Antiques in Bloom. So you'll notice that um, each booth has a special little floral display in the booth and that is um, a collaboration between Philadelphia area uh, gardeners, designers, with the dealer to try to come up with a, um, a floral arrangement that kind of matches what they're trying to sell. The aptly titled Antiques in Bloom show has raised more than 17 million for various causes since its founding in 1961. Well, we just got here, but so far it's very interesting. I mean, I don't really understand how they value everything, so it's interesting to see, you know, one thing that costs $150,000, another that costs 2000 and just kind of hard to understand why, you know, one is what it is and one the other is, you know, one-fiftieth or one-hundredth of the value of it, but, you know, it's fun. More of a looker than a buyer these days. I've sort of filled up the walls and the cupboards with things over the years. I'm particularly interested in the brass uh, candlesticks and brass uh, items. It's a special interest of mine. And some of the antique maps. I think I got into it certainly by being a collector and collecting and collecting <laughs> and then realizing that we really had more than we needed and that other people love this stuff. I particularly am interested in textiles and my husband's interested in American and pewter. I think there's fun in informing and educating people too. Certainly I feel fulfilled when I'm selling to someone who understands what they're buying and cares and I know they'll take care of it. So that's part of the fun. We ended the series of interviews with a single thought-provoking question. What will the antiques from this era be? This is history. This is our history, the history of the world because the material here is from all of you. Young people, unfortunately, are not interested in this. And I, I don't know how to make that change. Perhaps when the Philadelphia Antiques Show returns for its centennial celebration, we will see iPads next to eyeglasses and the Mario Brothers alongside marionettes. Reporting on the Philadelphia Antique Show from the Navy Yard in South Philadelphia, this, this is, is Team Peaches! Peaches.